Hey, what's going on guys? Shilly Chobo here, and welcome back. We're picking up right where we left off, and I'm just kind of making some drums right here. We did a little bit of finagling around, testing, just making sure that certain things worked and certain things obviously didn't work. Um, so, <clears throat> learned a little bit there. Uh, has been definitely in the interesting side. Certainly has not been exactly uh, an easy whole thing. But we're gonna go ahead, take these little reinforced large drums, have them be the kind of core point of everything, and then add them onto here. It does appear to be the case that you need to put the ender tank above um, whatever you're trying to get if it's going to be like any form of normal situation here. Or at least it works, you know, quote unquote best in this way. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. I know for a fact we've done it differently before, but for the life of me, I can't figure out why it refuses to cooperate. So <clears throat> we'll give this a go. We'll <clears throat> attach the drums underneath and hopefully that will be relatively simple and straightforward and work great. Hopefully, because the alternative is pretty grim, but we'll see. Oh, also, I need to be on receiving mode. So this is receiving mode. If I turn the towel, it's the uh, like get rid of stuff mode. I really shouldn't have done that because I just undid all my progression. But also like a random little aside for just if you're doing this yourselves. But we did attach the inner tank on top of a sink. That worked fine. Um, so now it's just a question of making sure that we do this, hopefully correctly, um, for this whole batch here. I think we'll be okay. All right, so test number one, because I honestly don't know if this is gonna work right here. Is that now getting, it's empty. Hmm? What do you mean you're empty? Are these things not working properly? I'm... Oh no, did I just... Uh oh. No, okay, I was like, did I just mess up something really badly? I don't think I did though. All right, um, let's put the sink back also because the sink is to be back where it was rightfully belonging. Um, hmm. Now I'm extremely confused because that didn't seem to really take either. So let's try, hmm. Hold on, perhaps what we should do here is I should go ahead, jump down, and we'll do a sync. Let's just do a test run. Cause I'm, this is surprising. I did not think this was gonna turn into like this weird quest for like, the stupid water to work, which is dumb, but hopefully I can get this squared away and figure it out. Um, let's make one more sink. Just one. All right. And then I'm just gonna prototype something and then we'll move on. So reinforce large drum, right? Put sink on top. Drum is empty, okay? Um, rip that sink off. Put it to its side. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I'm doing everything but what I'm trying to do. Okay. Here, let's do it this way. There. Now do I have something? No. Um, is this one of those weird ones where it just really does not care for the flat? transfer pipes these things I don't know what it is but these transfer pipe things these like flattened ones they we've had some tough times with these things these things are not exactly the uh, most convenient shall we say let's see I this this literally may solve all of our problems I have absolutely zero idea I swear it's trolling me. I swear it is. I'm so close to raging. I'm so close to going to the dark side right now. It's like, I don't understand. 
I just do not get how it's possible for this to be just completely just broken all the time. I just don't get it. I don't know if I ever will. Chances that I actually know how to make these. Chances are not good. Chances are pretty, pretty bad. All right, so pattern. Let's learn to make some of these. I mean, to heck with it. Do I, do I even know how to make the other one? No, I don't. Okay, so let's also learn how to make the other one too. Transfer. Okay, and then we have these things floating around now. Ugh. Okay, let's go up. Find my transfer nodes. Okay. I just deposited the patterns into the system. I actually just transferred. I. All I hear in the back of my head is just Gordon Ramsay calling me an idiot sandwich. That's all I hear. All I hear is just him yelling at me, being like, you're an idiot sandwich, and I can't disagree with him. At this point in time, especially, I am being an idiot sandwich. Uh. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead, put these in. And nodes. Nodes, 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 nodes. I can't make it because I need stone slabs. How the heck do I not have these? Hello? <sighs> just some moments in life, man. Just some moments. All right. Now, can we please just make 128 of these? Can you do that for me? Thank you. All right. Now that we have a reconculous amount of these things, <laughs> I may actually need to redesign this whole thing. I'm actually very close to just saying. You know what? I am going to do that. I'm, I'm just going to break everything. It's just. Ha <laughs> ha. And then we'll just do it over here. And we're just going to. Just going to rip these down too. Yeah. Yeah, what now? And I'm gonna go over here, and we're, we're gonna break these too. We're, <laughs> we're gonna do it. Breaking all the sinks. Then you know what we're gonna do? And then. Put a sink like so. And we'll put an ender tank like so. Okay. Okay. Facing the wrong way. Wait, no, it's not facing the wrong way. It's facing the right way. Okay, and then we're just gonna get our flattened fluid things. Yes, yes, it's gonna work great. It's gonna work great. I'm doing, I'm doing it. It's gonna be great. And we're not gonna run into any problems. It's gonna work exactly the way I want it to. It's gonna be perfect, and nothing's gonna stop me. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go in here. I'm just gonna throw that little, no, yes. Okay, there we go. Some fluid flowing in. All right, and then, and then, and then, uh, we're not done yet. We're gonna go ahead and rip this out. And I'm gonna take this drum, right? And it's gonna say I have 3,000. I'm, I'm just gonna plop this thing right on top of there. And that is now going to interact with this. But I'm gonna just turn that 
So start expelling water and you just look at that go and yes. Okay, now I gotta do this like a thousand more times. All right, sink. Uh, hold on, Let's, we should order this like I'm making a sandwich. Okay, so this, that, this, this, that, this, this, that. And we just gotta do this all the way home until we have accomplished our mission. And I will be victorious. I have absolutely zero idea why I'm not drowning at the moment. Why am I not drowning? Almost there guys we're almost there we almost did it wait we were the pale legends we're gonna be heroes okay just a little bit more One more, one, just one thing more. Actually, no, you know what? No, 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 let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. Okay, come on, come on. No, 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 I know I'm like flying and in water, but you know what? Just gotta do me a favor here, game. Yes, break it. Yes, okay, and we're gonna fall down. Look! Yes! Yes! It's going excellently. Oh, yes. Most excellently. All right. So now we have this. And that's trying to just absolutely expel all the water into that barrel. And that's that's fine. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So we managed to do this part. In theory, whoops. So I should just be able to be like, yo, tank, turn that up, and then. Okay, so we're, we, we did it. We did it, guys. After. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was uh, feeling a little bit on the crazy side there. Might have gone a little bit crazy town, but you know what? It worked out in the end. As, uh, as they say, sometimes insanity pays off, right? <laughs> Just... <sighs> okay, um, let's see here. So we now have to go to the crafting grid. We have this part running. Uh, I, I should have the fluid discs by now, so let's go ahead and look up our fluid discs. We do indeed. I have absolutely zero idea what in God's green earth is going to happen in my inventory right now. Um, we'll store the fishing rod. The soul sucker can also take a hike for a little bit. Transfer pipes, run random cobblestone. Quantum tank. We'll see. I'm going to put the quantum tank up here on the off chance that I actually do need to do that, which is possible, but admittedly in my mind, not so likely. Um, I'm going to store all these things. I will hold on to two ender tanks. The sinks can also take a hike. I'm going to put all these nodes and junk away. All right. <clears throat> so now we just need to get the rest of the fluid things out, insert the discs into our storage. And let's see here. Um, so we'll just... Cool. All right, so now these bad boys are set up so they can accept water. 
um, and I just need to actually get the water into the whole system. So let's go ahead, do that. Um, yeah, okay, so the way we'll do this, I guess we need an importer. So, importer, wait, no, yeah, importer, Think, because I think the importer handles this stuff as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's true. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these tanks. And I'm just gonna... Well then, um, it wasn't quite what I was aiming for, but yeah, I could understand why that would be confusing. All right. Is it working? No. It was worth a shot. <laughs> oh, wait. But did I turn it on is the question. Still not working. Good to know. Okay. So we finished this part off. We squared that away. Now it's a question about getting some of that water hypo going. So how do we get this into the system? Um... In theory, it would just be you put water in the importer, right? But that doesn't sound right. So let's see here. At refined, um, external storage, destructor reader, right? Detector relay interface, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. I don't. Huh, I don't actually know. It must be, oh wait, a fluid grid? Hold on, let's make a fluid grid. I have no idea what this does, but let's just try this. Fluid grid. <laughs> like I was like, let's try this, and the game's like, you wanna, you wanna think about that again? All right, so let's make one grid. What else did I need here, a bucket? Don't we all, all right, fluid grid. Oakley Doakley, fluid grid online. Um, and then. Oh. There seems to be a pretty good chance that that is what we're trying to make. Okay, so let's go ahead and make. Whoops. Let's go ahead and make. An interface. I apparently don't know how to make an interface. Um, let's make an interface. Okay. Come on. Come on. All right. Im importer. Make one of you bad boys. Exporter. Make one of you bad boys. And then I'm looking for just a random looking cube. All right. And then a basic processor all righty and then basic processor okay interface cool and then once we have that I just need a bucket and redstone so bucket if you would and redstone just need one I'm gonna do this by hand the old-fashioned way um, Solder, yes. Okay. Now that's gone back into the system. Fluid. So we're looking for the fluid interface. Voila. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna just rip this down, I guess. And I just put that here. And then if I look over here, hey, it's working! Okay, cool, awesome. All right, so this thing is now trying to pull water from here. Um, I'm gonna be honest, the rate at which that's happening is a little bit on the slower side than I probably would like. Um, let's just double up on this, honestly. Let's go ahead and do that, let's just. Get that all done. All right, so this is getting really crowded in here. 
So interface, interface. I wish to actually make this into a pattern so I don't ever have to do this over again. <coughs> oh. When when you just do it dumb dumb. All right. Interface and then fluid interface is going to be you. So let me go ahead and do that. Nope. Still nope. All right. There we go. And solder, solder, solder. Chances of this ever being related to anything else? Pretty slow, or pretty slow, pretty pretty slim. It's pretty unlikely, so we're not gonna worry about that too much. Um, oh Lord, I'm just gonna throw you in there and hope for the best. So I should just be able to now say, yo system, let me beeth the hooked upeth of the fluid interface, and it shall say, yes indeedeth my broseph, I shall handeth onto you the fluid interface for thine own comforts. And I shall say, yeseth indeedeth, I have if receiveth the fluid interfaceeth, and indeed I did. Perfect. All right, so fluid interface, another one acquired. Let's go ahead and slap it on to here. And then we're gonna take this bad boy and slap that onto there as well. And then we're gonna just turn that dial upside down. And there we go. And that should greatly increase the amount of water that we're observing into the system. There it goes. So each one of these things of like water, like one unit of water should be a bucket, I believe. I think that's the way this works. So it should be that each one of these is a bucket. It's going up. It's not going at the speed of light or anything, but it's, it's going up pretty comfortably. We could theoretically even go crazier. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. All right, fluid interface. Or tankerino. Oh, we're going crazy up in here today. All right. Fluid interface. Fluid interface. Nope. Fluid interface. And then turn that upside down as well. Oh, look at that. We're just absolutely just destroying it now. Let's see here. So let's see what our fluid rate looks like. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not great. It's not bad though. And I think it kind of looks actually kind of cool. I like that. It looks kind of neat. Oh dear, is that already? You're kidding me. Oh, I guess that's true. It's only 512 buckets. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Um. You know, in that case, no. I have to. I have to. We have to nix one of these. Sorry, buddy. Because we want some of the, we, we do want that to produce us enough water that this thing is going to always have like, it's going to have more than it needs to pull into the system. And then um, we're going to take the rest of it and actually have that work for our reactors as well. So either way, cool, cool stuff. So we have our water system all sorted out. The lava I'm not going to worry about just yet. Um, I will, however, put in more fluid discs into the work. So we'll we'll put this into uh, order here, just so if I do want more fluid or whatever, I can get that going. I don't know what situation I'm gonna be realistically wanting to have stored lava up. Water, I can kind of see how, why that would be happening, but for lava, I really don't, because I don't think we have anything else that I realistically need to be using it for. So the fluids are gonna be working their magic here. I have some always extra, which is good because we're, we're producing more than we're consuming into our storage system. So if I ever do need to call in like a large amount of water for filling up anything for whatever reason, this should take us into a pretty good place. Um, because the ender tanks, of course, they don't hold that much water. So I can use it as kind of like an overflow for these things. It seems kind of like convoluted and strange, but it, just in my mind, it's working out as, this is a way for me to buffer the water. Anything caught in the buffer, we can use wherever we want, but we need to make sure that this is always kept healthy. So we should be a-okay. Um, so let me see here. We are now squared away with that. Now we have the question of moving on in our achievement book, which is to do this stuff. Now we can create an active one. This maximum size one, I'm not entirely convinced we need. Um, so that's also something of an issue. However, I do want to take care of something else today with our system. So right now what we do is we just kind of say, okay, um, we have all this going here. 
this is collecting, I believe, the cyanite. And then, you know, we have a little thing for keeping our power all squared away and whatever else. But this is the system that's like just, it's antiquated beyond all words. We need to make sure that we have a way to get the Yalorium crafted and all that good stuff. So to that end, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this working. I'm not, we're entering some weird refined storage territory that I do not know how to do properly off the top of my head. And so be patient because this, this may be painful. I'm not entirely sure how this will go, but hopefully it will go well. Um, so let me see here. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to need, uh, so let me, let me make a crafter here first. And then after we make a crafter, I'm going to, wait, do I have this? Oh, I do. Okay. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> okay. And then I'm going to need, I believe a. A writer. Let's see. I need a detector. All right, so I need to make hold on. So I need to make a detector. I'm pretty sure. So detector. Great. That did not help me even remotely. Where is it in this giant list of things? Okay, there it is. All right, so I'm also gonna need a redstone comparator. The dad gummit. All right, redstone. Craft these. Make 64 of those. Thank you. And then <clears throat> machine casing. Make 64 of these. Thank you. And then we're gonna make ourselves dad gummit. We're gonna make ourselves one of these. Bab. We're gonna make our dad gum you. All right. Make this. Make this. Huzzah. All right, detector made. <clears throat> so with detector and this whole thing, we're entering a part that I, honest to God, have no idea how this works. So I'm hoping that I do this right and don't completely botch it. So this detector right here, it's gonna, okay. So the way this I think works is that it, this is gonna look at a number. If you have this amount of blank in your system, then it will not activate, like it won't let the signal go through, right? So I think, what has to happen here. So I'm just gonna see if this will work the way I think it will work. Um, so Yalorium, I have a lot of Yalorium. Um, let's use something else. Let's use, I don't know, I guess iron is not a bad choice here even though I just made 6.4K, so perhaps not. Um, let's do gold. Yeah, okay, gold, there we go. Gold, something I always need more of, never have quite enough of. So I'm gonna go ahead, put gold in here. I'm gonna say if I have less than, let's say 100 gold, arbitrary number, but let's say I have a less than 100 gold. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and also throw into here some of this gold. So I have like 30 something or whatever in there. So this thing's looking for if I have that much in, um, I'm gonna actually take the gold pattern out, put this into here. How does this work? Um, That's not it.
Huh, interesting. Okay, so apparently what I need to be doing here... Well, first off, this doesn't make... Yeah, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to take this crafter, slap it onto there. Now it's part of the system, so now I could just throw this onto there and it knows to make gold. So then I believe what I need to do is I need to take this thing. And I think I have to do something like... this right there, I'm gonna put this like, perhaps not, um, gold, 100, okay, emit signal one under the amount, and then this thing should be running, and this should only be going with redstone signal, Ah, wait, no, hold on. Ignore resin, but trigger auto crafting with redstone signal. Yes. And. Let's take a look here. Gold. Nope. Gold. It's working! Okay, it, it ran, it spilled one over because it was like, it hit 103, but it already had the one crafting process in way. But yes, this works. That's sick. Okay, cool. So what this means is that I can now take things, right? So if I'm like, hey, you know what? I need to have sort of my glowstone dust or something. I can now put these in here and they'll automatically craft stuff. That's so cool. Yes. Okay, so interesting. Um. Obviously, I'm going to need to make a better system for this, but that's actually really awesome. So I can I could do things like I could tell this thing to craft me like water buckets, for example, or something strange like that. I can do all kinds of junk with this. So that that's actually really simple to set up, too. It's not even bad. You just need to have a detector and a crafter, and even I can figure this out. So, like, yeah, this is easy. Like, this isn't bad at all. So I can craft, like, an infinite amount of things. So... Um, hypothetically, right? Let's say that I wanted, um, let's do it actually. This is going to sound absolutely ridiculous and absolutely crazy, but let's say that I wanted to, uh, oh wait, I guess apples are kind of a weird thing though. Cause you can't craft apples, unfortunately, right? Apples. Yeah. Apples are, apples are a bad example. Um, let's see here. So let's say that, oh, <laughs> food. Good job, Choco. 10 out of 10. All right. Um, okay, but like, let's take hot dogs, right? Hot dogs, easy. Um, doesn't require a whole lot of anything crazy. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just a question of pork chops, which I have pig essence, and therefore I can make it. I think I learned that. Oh, I did not learn how to make pork chops. Okay, I can fix that. All right, so let's go ahead and say um, pork chop. And I demand that that be done, make a pattern out of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and realistically, do I need this? Not so much. I'm just gonna put this back in here. Um, but so gold into here. I'm gonna put this raw pork chop pattern in here. And then I'm gonna take my pattern grid and then I'm going to learn how to make this. So if I want hot dogs, I just say, yo, if I'm less than 100 hot dogs, make this happen. And then, now, whenever I need to grab food, it'll already be making me hot dogs! Is this not incredible? Am I just flipping out over nothing? Like, this seems so crazy to me. We're auto-crafting. We did the part of, okay, so, maybe this, this will add some clarity for those of you who haven't been with us for the whole haul here, because it's, it's been a while. But this is the one part of AE2, 
and of any version of refined storage or anything like that, I've never ever wanted to touch auto crafting because it seemed to be very difficult. But this is so simple. Like I have hot dogs. I have an infinite number of hot dogs. And I can be like, oh yeah, you know, I need, you know, I need some hot dogs. Where I'm, I'm hungry. I'm, you know, I just need to grab food and stuff. And then uh, just to illustrate the point a little bit faster. So I'm going to throw this in here. And then once it hits a hundred, it's still going. Something has gone horribly wrong. Something, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Wait a minute, hold on, hot dog. Hot dog machine. Wait, what happened? Oh wait, no, that's a pattern, crap. I meant the actual hot dog. Not the hot dog pattern. Okay, so now, Excuse the uh, little technical hiccup there. We have uh, gone a little bit too crazy with the hot dogs. Okay, so now I can be like, all right, I have hot dogs. And you know, like I'm going about my business or it's like before an episode, I'm getting ready. And it's like, hey, you know what? I want to get ready to go adventure and do something, right? Like, let's say I need to go into like the nether for an extended period of time or for whatever reason. And now I'm going to go back and I'm always going to have hot dogs ready. How is this not like the most amazing thing in the world? And look, the saturation bonus is redonkulous. This thing is actually ridiculous. Hot dogs are dope. And they're easy to make too. Oh God, I'm so happy about this. Wait, hold on. This is, what, this is part of Pam, right? Yeah, it's P Pam's Harvest Craft after she worked at the office for so long. Um, so pa pa Pam's Harvest. Let's take a look. Let's see what else I can make. Honey soy ribs, honey bun. Okay, these are like all like weird like tofu versions of things. I could make holiday cake, <laughs> which <laughs> has absolutely no nutritional value, I guess. Oh, you know what? It's probably a cake. It's it's probably like a Minecraft cake where you have to like put it down on the ground. That would make sense. Okay, never mind. That that's fine. Um. Deluxe chicken curry. Good God! 29 set. What the fleet? Is that the highest one? I saw a 16er. The tuna potato is apparently a very nutritional meal as well. The Kung Pao chicken. Chicken curry. 29. Good Lord. Is there anything else in Pam's Harvest Cry? Okay, there's another 29er. The Meat Feast Pizza. Highly approved. No idea how to make pork sausage. Oh dear, that sounds actually kind of complicated. Um, let's take a look here. I'm not even reading the names of these things. They could be like the most delicious sounding thing in the world. I'm just looking for things that have like a really high food value. What is this? A lamb kebab is apparently 20. The Epic Bacon is pretty out of this world, I will say. Epic Bacon does epic things. Actually. Can we auto craft Epic Bacon? Can I feed my character only Epic Bacon from now on? Is that a thing? Guys, I don't want you to panic or anything, but we might be able to get ourselves infinite epic bacon. Guys. Can I make infinite epic bacon? What the? 
No, no. What? 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 What kind of idiot recipe did? For God's sake. All right. Um. Yes, cook pork chop. Way easier. Why are you trying to be weird? Accepts any... What? Okay, hold on. Let's try this one more time, except this time... Yes, this one. Nope. Pork... Oh, I have to... Hold on. Maybe this is as simple as... I just have to go cook in one real quick. Okay. Alright. Pattern grade. Pork chop. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Get out of here. Okay. Throw that into there. And then, oh yes, and then, epic. What? No, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. Why processing pattern? Get this to happen. Nope. We're getting really sidetracked by bacon right now, but if there was ever a worthy cause, if there was ever a cause that Momo would support, it would be this one. The quest for bacon, I know she supports that. Um, okay, so I can... Uh, uh, It's happening, guys. It's freaking happening. Epic bacon is ours. No, hot dog, you have you have done your time. It is now the age of the epic bacon. Close. Getting close, fam. Four, three, two, one. It freaking works. I'm storing these hot dogs. Hot dog pattern, I'll hold on to you. Because you know what? You've earned your place. You have earned your place here, my friend. Toast sandwiches? Not anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new dietary staple of Sky Factory 3. From now on, no longer is Choco going to be that pleb lord who has to sit there being like, oh, I have to eat two slices of bread that are toasted slapped onto each other, Ugh, like sad face. I'm not gonna be the guy that is just eating hot dogs down like a competitive eater. I'm gonna be the guy who stuffs his face full of greasy bacon every day. It's gonna be great. 29 saturation, this thing's gonna fully square me away every time I eat one of these glorious little things of bacon. Okay, so hold on. We have to. We have to do it. We have to. I don't remember. I think epic bacon. If I eat it, I think I get like buffs and stuff too. 
Like, I don't think it's like just bacon. It's just not like, oh, LOL, we're bacon. Like, we actually get stuff for it. Right? Come on. Come on. Wear it down. Yeah, there it goes. You see my saturation just ticking down. Come on. Epic bacon. Okay. Eat. And I'm like full glowing. Okay, I don't get any buffs, but I got epic bacon though. Which is great. Okay, cool. So we have epic bacon. It's it unfortunately does not give me any buffs, but hey, we restored all of our food, which is excellent. <coughs> all right. Well, anywho, thank you very much for watching, guys. That's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, next time we'll be probably starting to mess with the uh, extreme reactors thing, and then we'll be going on to prob. Actually, I don't know what will happen after that. But extreme reactors is the next thing on there. And Novi getting the five dollar sub gift from Artie. Nice. Well. Wow. Appreciate you too. We live in a crazy world full of crazy things. But yeah, next time we should be going into getting the. We should be looking into getting ourselves the uh, reactor up and running. There's got to be a way to automate this. We'll think about it. All right. Anywho, until next time, guys, take care. Uh, I think I already said all this stuff, but like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and all that good stuff. But take care. Ooh, crap. And ciao for now.